Hello, this tutorial video will show you how template matching works in Adaptive Vision Studio. I'll start by loading images which we'll be using in this example. As we can see, the object position is not the same in all those images. If we were to measure this object width, we would get incorrect result because of this. By using template matching, we'll be able to find the position of the characteristic parts of this object, and we would ensure that object movement would not affect the measurement. Let's start by adding locate object tool. There are two variants of this filter there. NCC, which is also called gray-based, and edges. As the outlines of the objects are sharp, I'm going to use the latter one. I am looking for only one object, so I need to use the single variant of this filter. Now I'll connect an image to this filter and I open the Edge Model Editor. After opening it, we should make sure that we are using correct complexity level. The basic level has a minimal number of parameters. As well it has restricted options of defining both template and return object. That's why I choose the expert level here. It has significantly more parameters, although in our case we should be able to find the object with the default settings. Let's start by choosing a reference image. You can use images available in the program or you can load one from a file. It is not really necessary to use images connected to this filter. The next step is to select a region of characteristic edges of the object. In the expert complexity level, you have an ability to select a different kinds of shapes, while in the basic one, you can only select a rectangle. If you zoom in on the selected region, you will be able to see the edges that this filter will be trying to locate. In the situation where you notice a lot of noise near the edges, it might be useful to increase the edge magnitude threshold value. You can modify some template matching properties, but we will leave the default values for now. In the next step, which is only available for the expert level, you can modify the rectangle which will be returned as a result of finding matching object. I am going to select a whole object here. By clicking OK, we'll generate our model. Let's now see if we are able to locate the object in all images. To check this, we need to display out object match output on the image in the preview. Other important outputs are out object score and out object alignment. The latter one can be connected to other filters to make sure that all measurements are independent from the object position. As we have seen, we are able to find object in all images. If you have some problems with doing this, you can decrease the min score parameter or change the values of pyramid level or edge threshold. To find more about template matching, please follow the link in the video description.